Hi YouTube, it's that movie guy 777 and here to do a video of the recent Criterion pickups I've gotten because of the 50% off Criterion sale and uh, I just wanted to show you some of the recent ones I picked up and uh, I hopefully do want to pick up more DVDs because I definitely have wanted to take advantage of this whole sale so without further ado I'll get started and I had gotten three DVDs which I'll be talking about in this video so let me get started off with the first one, which is Jean-Luc Godard's Band of Outsiders. Uh, yes, uh, I'll show you the inside of it. Uh, it comes with a little booklet, which uh, most Criterions come with. And if you're familiar with the Criterion Collection, you know that they usually come with booklets. And yeah, which is a great feature, and I love looking at them. Uh, this is part of... Uh, as you know, if you're John Locke Godard's a uh, part of the French New Wave directors, and the French New Wave directors directed some just the coolest movies ever, uh, which are the Four Hundred Blows, directed by Francois Truffaut, and uh, uh, Les Samurai, directed by Jean Pierre Melville, and uh, Band of Outsiders, which is John Locke Godard, who also directed Breathless. If you're familiar with the French New Wave movies, and uh, yes, this is if. This is definitely, I think, one of the greatest French New Wave movies, and probably my favorite. And uh, this has so many just memorable scenes, and it's just the, the coolest movie ever made. And whether it be the Madison scene where they're dancing, and uh, the Lovar scene where they're running through the museum is just so mesmerizing. And I definitely had to pick this one up. So, yeah, uh, Band of Outsiders and which is also the French title is called Band Apart which you know is the production company for Quentin Tarantino's movies and he was obviously influenced by this movie and the dance sequence is uh, obviously a huge inspiration in Pulp Fiction so just thought I should add that in there and yeah Band of Outsiders uh, that was the first DVD I talked about and uh, next is uh, Brian De Palma's Blowout which uh, was I believe it was a uh, out of print at first, but then the Criterion Collection releases, released it, and this is a new one that they released, and it's definitely a, a phenomenal movie that they had to put on here, and it's definitely a great idea that they put up, put this on the Criterion Collection. And if you've seen Blow Out, it's basically if you've seen uh, Blow Up, which is a Italian, it's not. It's not Italian, they speak in English, but uh, it's uh, directed by, I believe it's an Italian director, Michelangelo Antoloni. And uh, this is uh, definitely an excellent thriller by Brian De Palma, and it's definitely one of his best. John Travolta gives such a great performance, as well as Nancy Allen, and John Lithgow gives such a chilling performance as this killer in the movie. And it's basically about this uh, sound... Uh, so, like this uh, sound effects uh, person who's doing this movie uh, and he has to record sounds for it and he just catches this whole uh, accident on the with his sound and effects and he realizes this whole conspiracy behind it and it's just such a such a suspenseful movie and uh, I, I love it and this is uh, uh, but I believe uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino uh, picked John Travolta in this movie because he liked him so much in this movie, so he starred him in Pulp Fiction, which uh, he's he, this is definitely uh, an underrated movie by him, and I loved it so much. And this is yeah, definitely a Brian De Palma classic. And there's so many imaginative camera works in this movie, and it's just uh, definitely a great movie for movie buffs, and I highly recommend it. All right, so that was the second movie I got, in, and I'll get down to the last movie, and uh, that is a. Uh, uh, Kira Kurzawa's Ikaru, and, uh, now, I know this isn't exactly a criterion, it's the Jazz Films, uh, Central Art House, uh, collection of movies, and, uh, I, I know that's not a criterion, but I just, that was the one they had here, and I had to pick it up, and this is, uh, this is regarded as a Kira Kurzawa's, uh, by some, his best movie, and I do consider it his best movie. If I had to, I would definitely gotten that uh, huge uh, AK-125 films, which basically features all his greatest 25 movies, but that movie, that collection costs like, you know, 
$300, which would be quite a, a lot of money, but I had to pick up this one because this is definitely my favorite uh, Akira Kurosawa movie, and it's just absolutely one of the most heartwarming movies you'll ever see, and it's definitely an amazing Akira Kurosawa movie, and if you haven't seen it, uh, I highly recommend you watch it, and it's just such a beautiful movie, and I am so glad I picked this one up, and yes, um, I guess I'll show you inside and stuff what's in there. The booklet also, which uh, comes with an essential art house, and I, I will show the blowout, uh, the pamphlet or booklet in there. And uh, because I forgot to, but uh, this is the booklet, uh, comes just talks about the movie, and this is all the other stuff. And this is uh, definitely, I'm glad I picked this one up because it's definitely one of my favorite Kira Kurosawa movies up there with Seven Samurai and Yojimbo and uh, Rashomon High and Low. Great movies from Kira Kurosawa. And I'll, since I forgot to, I'll show the blowout uh, book pamphlet in here. Actually, it comes with a, two great DVDs, and uh, this pamphlet has so much it says about the movie, and just definitely, a, I highly recommend this movie. If you are a fan of uh, Brian De Palma, I highly recommend you pick up this DVD. It comes with a lot of great uh, features in here. It talks a lot about the movie, a lot of stills, posters, and Brian De Palma. And yes, uh, that was the pamphlet. And that was just the main three movies I had bought in, and yeah, I just thought I should let you guys on an update of the recent Criterions I picked up, and I just thought I should do a video like this. So, anyways, I'll see you all later, and stay tuned for more videos.